What's going on guys, my name is Dobrin, and this is Democracy Tree, which I picked up on Steam yesterday. There's a lot of controversy going on on Steam, whether this game's good or bad, so... I'm gonna make this, uh, like, 30 minute let's play, in order to help people decide and see for themselves. So, in essence, Democracy Tree is a political game. You rule... You are the ruling party of a country, you select policies, you try to deal with the problems. Well, I did finish the tutorial, tried to finish the game, well, didn't go so well, I got bombed, died. But this time, well, I do have a game under my belt, should be that better, but who knows. So, I'll just go into options, dilemmas. I'll leave on, assassinations, political capital, that's good, because uh, otherwise the game will be too easy. Political honeymoon, I have a level of political capital when first elected, yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, that's not important, transitions, leaderboards, whatever, okay. So, let's get into the game. So, I don't live in Germany, so I'll pick Germany and see... What the hell is happening in this country? So, time limit, let's say three terms of four years. And how can we, how should we name the party? Yeah. Let's call it the, oh my god, don't bump me this, this time party okay the oh my god don't pump it this time party versus the Yehova party okay this is gonna do it I think so Germany doesn't suffer from much of those they're not a monarchy they don't get this I'll add hurricanes to compensate for the floods that usually ha that sometimes happen here okay good let's see where did the game put us Bad GDP, mediocre health, good education, some poverty, some crime, serious unemployment. Well, that's gonna be fun. Good, so, we're in the main game window. Here you can see lots and lots of bubbles. The red bubbles are those who impact your society in a bad way. So, for example, inner city riots, caused by poverty, caused by crime, caused by unemployment, effects on, that this affects the conservatives in the society, affects the crime as well. Here you can see a graph, that's, what it that's when it starts, that's when it ends. So if we do well, probably this graph will go like, and we'll manage to save ourselves from this problem. It does cost us uh, money to deal with it, and all that money is directly reduced by the, from the deficit that you have, which is not bad, only 10 million deficit, uh, not 10 billion, uh, only 10 billion deficit, which means we are actually not that bad. First time I played I had like 50, okay, good random number generator, yay. Popularity, that's not bad. 54% popularity, that's good. Alrighty, so we're talking about the bubbles. The white bubbles are policies which you can in, which you can directly interact with and uh, in some way manage to do something about it, like raise lower taxes, uh, in add laws and so on and so forth. The blue ones are static ones which don't which don't really, which you can't uh, do m much about. They just give you information, they're like statistics, and if we play well, and if you play well, there'll be also green ones, which you can unlock by doing well, by doing a good job here. So, what do we want to do? First things first, well, okay, let's just check where our, where's our money going. Expenditure, state pensions, state health service, yeah, health service is important, state pensions, well, 15%, that's not that good, I don't like this, so much money going for state pensions, yeah, because the state pensions are high, 
What will happen if we make the state pensions like medium? This will make the retired a bit unhappy. The capitalist will be ha will get slightly happy just because the slider is going slightly to the other side, as you can see. The poor will get slightly unhappy. The poverty will actually drop. Why? Because the people will have to go back to work. <laughs> the income of the retired people will drop a bit, the socialists will get slightly unhappy, the retired will get slightly unhappy, and the private pensions will be reduced. So we're at 37. If I make the medium, we'll go back to 25, 25, 25, 24. So here you can see the, the current situation. That's how much capital do you have? That's 26 capital. So if I lower it, that will be exactly 26 capital. So I won't be able to do much this time, but I'm going to do it. Because I don't want to cut on the expenditures so I can start doing something about the benefits of this and try to benefit the society somehow. Well, now people's gonna hate me, but whatever. People are never happy. Let's go ahead. And quarterly report. What did happen? We just managed to raise poverty. Good job, for starters. Nothing else went up or down. Debt protection law. Yes, here are the random events. The collection agencies came in in the news because the aggressive method they're using to extract payment for people. Yeah. So what shall we do about those agencies? Well. Let's limit those, because if we let them work, they will keep on making our society poorer. Yeah. The budget report... Yeah, the, our credit should be bad. Oh, we're in surplus. That's very good. Okay, since we're in surplus, I'm going to add a couple of things. Let's see what we can do to help the people. So the poor are unhappy. That's understandable. So, let's see, what can we add to make people slightly happier and and compensate for that small surplus that we managed to get. Here, on this part of the screen, you can see the intelligence, you can see the graphs, how the voters, what the voters think and what do they do? There are focus groups, you can check for each and every one whether they approve of you or not. That's good to check, but because sometimes your bombings might just happen because some groups are, not, are quite unhappy and then your, the, your game's over. Done and done. So these are the policies. Here, here you have a graph, a graph of what's okay, what's not, what's problematic, Here's how the cha here's how your previous decisions have affected the game. We raised poverty by five sixty five percent. We reduced the GDP by one eighty two, and we reduced the tourism by one eighty six. So far, so good. We're doing magnificently, mainly because we give promises that we don't keep. This is implement new policies. Let's see what we can what can we implement in order to make some money. So what can we, what else can we do to make some money? Capital gains tax, G G CGT tax, levy on no salary. Okay, that's gonna make some uh, some nice cash. Or luxury goods tax. That's a good one. Plastic bags tax. That's also a relatively okay one. Now the capital gains is probably the best because there are too many people who are quite rich in this country. We can compensate that and after we tax them to oblivion, we can try and compensate for that with university grants and so on and so forth. Okay, let's get a luxury goods tax first. That can or although that can make us up to 20 billion. Okay, 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 we'll make this one. So, 
If we do it, the capitalists will be unhappy, the people with high earnings will be unhappy, the GDP will drop a bit, yeah, perfect. And the socialists will be happy because there will be more equality because we are taxing the we're taxing the people who are the richest in this country. So this, eh, let's make it 40. Think that should give us some cash. Okay, to compensate for it, what else can we do? State housing. That will make us popular. Welfare fraud, winter fuel subsidies. Oh, welfare fraud can actually give us some cash as well. Food stamps, rent controls, economy, small business grants. Hmm. Small business grants, that sounds kind of interesting. Tax shelters, work safety law, foreign investor, robotics research grants, that's too early for that. It's way too early to deal with this. Adult education subsidies, free eye tests, that will be very popular with the people. Free school meals, oh, that's what we're gonna get. We want school free school meals in every school. And we just exhausted our political capital. Next. What did we do? Oh, we reduced po poverty. Budget report. Yeah, big debt. Of course we have big debt, what to expect. So, toxic waste dump. Now proposals have been put forward to construct a magic toxic waste dump in our country. What? Ha! Huh. You wish. I don't even gonna read what's that. I'm not going to turn the country into a waste dump. Good! So, oh, we have 19 billion surplus. So the debt's going down. We have some surplus and we can start thinking about helping the people. So, the middle income is the one that's getting hit hard. The wealthy people are getting hit, hit hard, the capitalists are unhappy, but pff, big deal. The self-unemployed are not so good, the environmentalists are very happy because of the whole, all of the implemented stuff. Okay, so what I want to do though is see what, yeah, university grants, there's a grants for all, okay. Technology colleges, that's high, that's good. State schools have modern textbooks, that's good. Health service, some prevention, that's also okay, I'm gonna raise it sooner or later. Creation and versus evolution, both systems are taught, that's good. I'm not going to try and pray on the religious people. I do, however, want to check what's happening with those red things. Those red things are problems in the society, which we don't really want to have. So, what causes it? What causes obesity? The GDP, the free school meals, those help them. State service, organic farming subsidy, state health service, okay. Inner city riots, oh! We actually managed to drop down a bit. That's good. Can we make this go? Go completely? No? Yes, we'll see. Okay. Alcohol abuse. I'm not going to bother about with this one. <laughs> alcohol abuse. There are always people who abuse alcohol. So Private housing is affecting the homelessness, the homeless people. The poor people are affected by this as well. So if we manage to deal with those, we should be okay. Alrighty. Now what's the last one? Uncompetitive economy. Oh, it's almost gone. If we manage to raise the productivity or hmm, corporation tax, uh, I'd love to raise this one. I hate corporations. 
they usually suck everything out of the economy. So, state pension, state schools. What can we do about the state schools? Yeah, we did enough. Or it was done. Already. So, the road building that affects car usage, traffic congestion. If we. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. We only have a surplus of 19. This is why. What kind of other proper policies can we. Make so childcare provision. By giving oh, we can ensure more parents to return to the workforce after having children, and therefore benefit the economy. I like this one. This will raise productivity. That's that's a huge boost. So let's see how can we how much can we raise the productivity. Huh. Why does it have an effect on the unemployment? Yeah. Yeah, because more parents will decide to have babies, and while they while they have babies, they don't work. Alrighty, so we're not going to go on maximum. Let's go here. Ding. Good. This policy is passed. What are the situations of the maternity leave? They get a full pay. Good. What's affecting the unemployment? Job care provisions. Those things cause it technology grants. Call it technology grants are high. Okay. So, this does look like a ton of information. You should know, but. It's not that bad, you know. It looks like a lot, but once you fiddle about with those icons, once you decide to check what's the situation here, there, everywhere, you will start start to get a feel of this game. Alcohol tax. Alcohol tax improve increases poverty. Well, we can tax the alcohol a lot. This will reduce equality, increase the poor, reduce alcohol consumption, affect the poor, affect the alcohol consumption. Eh, not now. Smoking. What's with the smoking tobacco tax? That affects everyone, that affects equality. Okay, not gonna do it yet. Ah, uh, we're new here. We need to start getting some policies up and running. So, oh! People like this, and we can get some income. We make this one. Conservatives, middle income, perfect. We're getting this one. It's also good to to use policies which will which will be helpful helpful to you, and uh, where the people will be will be will be happy with them. For example, this is at 75 percent. This is at 90. Uh, how much political capital do I have? Nine. Can I pass both of those? How much will that cost? Ah, we'll be okay. Let's pass both of those. Good. Rent controls. Medium. Mm -hmm. Potentially affordable housing for all. So, poor earnings. The capitalists will be unhappy. Big deal. The income of the capitalist will be a uh, big deal. We're gonna we're gonna do this. And the next policy which I wanted to pass is about the food stamps. This helps the poorer people. So this affects health, poor poor earnings, poor poor negative effect on poverty, which we do wanna have. Socialists like it, farmers like it, and that raises equality as well. So I have money now. Let's just bump it to the full. Good. Before we do this, let's check the situation of our cabinet. We have, we still have 26 capital per turn. The ministers are relatively happy. Can I change the name? No. I can't call it knucklehead. Okay. Oh, it's slightly 
unhappy. There, he's happy. Well, oh no, they're loyal. Well, we have some surplus. Everything's going well. Let's see what happens after our, all our changes. Hmm. We opened technological advantage. That's good. And in the same time, we'll reduce crime. We reduce poverty, we reduce unemployment, and we raise the GDP. And we got ourselves a Nobel Prize winner. That affects GDP, that affects the Patriot, that affects the Liberals. Very nice. We actually do want this time. I like it. Oh. The political parties, we're doing well. 64. People like us. Wow. People sure like us. I'm pleased. So, what was the situation? Uh, not the achievements. Uh, what was the situation with the cash here? So, headstall service is now in the first place. The state pensions are in the second place. We're taxing the people rather well. I'm happy. The quarterly report was very, very favorable to us. Good. Very, very good. So what did we change? That's was what I was looking for. Well, it's quite normal. Hell, it's just my second playthrough, so I might just fiddle about with some controls till I get to the things I need. So the high earnings have dropped, the terms has dropped, private pensions have improved, GDP has improved. We managed to lower alcohol consumption. We managed to lower the traffic congestions, poor people's earnings are higher, racial tension is lower, well, lots and lots of green stuff, including productivity, and we removed a big part of the poverty. Wow, I like this. And we get got ourselves our first green icon. That's for technological advantage. If we have good technology, we'll have a technological advantage, and if you have a good technological advantage, you'll have good productivity. That's very, very nice. The liberals like us more, the patriots like us more, the poor people like us more, the conservatives like us more, but the capitalists are very unhappy, but in good time, we'll, we'll get to them. So, what is that with them? Oh, this might just go away on the next roll. If that goes away, we'll open up 6.95 billion. Oh, I like this one. The obesity, we're not making, uh, we're not making it any better. The private health care, health, okay. We need to make stuff healthy for the people. That's a must. Alrighty, let's see what else do we have. Universal doorstep collection, no wonder the environmentalists are happy. What do we have here? Okay, there's something I didn't say, and that's that. So here, you can see that this is the economy part of the tree. That's the taxing part of the politics. That's the per public service. Here is the law and order. Here are the, here's the transport. Here are the foreign relations. And then we have welfare. All those affect your economy, and we have to try to deal with the, si the situation as humanely as possible. Alrighty, what does that mean? Uh, how can we deal with this as humanly as possible? We're raising taxes. There are grants here. Oh, tobacco tax. Since we helped poverty, how about we make a small dent on it? What will make a small dent on poverty? Because we did well. Huh. Property tax. How about we raise the property tax as well? The socialists will be happy, some of the earnings will drop, but big deal. Okay. That will give us some cash, which we can reinvest in other things. Okay, and so we still have seven, which might give us the opportunity to add a policy. Health food subsidies, junk food tax. Oh, junk food tax. Ho oh, ho, we're going to, we're so going to 
deal with the junk food tax because that causes obesity and we don't want that. The poor people's earnings will get a dent, youth people will not be very happy, but whatever, it's done. And let's go on because we spent all the capital. Alrighty, what did we do? Uncompetitive economy is gone, inner city rights is gone, high productivity! Huh, that's a good one! Oh, whoa, that happened quickly. Now we have a second green, po green policy, unlock policy. I love this. This is going rather well. Landmine ban, what's that? An engineering company in our country just want a contract to manufacture and supply landmines for foreign countries. There is no specific law to make these products. So... Hmm. Landmines can cause so many civilian deaths that in no way we should condone the manufacture of such weapons. However, on the other side, why should we ban it? Reject law. This is our this is our money we're talking about. We should oh. and this is our this is our people that we're talking about. When our companies are happy, everyone else is happy. Good. Now we have two green things and three red ones. So how is the obesity going? It's dropping. That's very good. How is the situation doing? That's also dropping. Very nice. The productivity is okay. The technological advantage is helping a lot. Good job, happy times. Good. And we have a 39 billion surplus, which means we don't even need to add taxes. What we can do is try to improve the welfare. State housing, that will be very nice since we have Serial, since we have a serious surplus, we can try to pass state housing. That's for the welfare of the people. Good. So, how much can we can we can we help here? If we improve it, the capitalist will of course be unhappy. We'll make a dent on poverty. The poor people will be happy. Equality will be better. Socialists will love us. The poor people's earnings will improve. And. In all in all, we'll be making socialism a very popular thing in our country. Uh, as long as the people are happy, that's okay. This is why we're here at 16. Uh, let's make it slightly above uh, uh, 20. That will do. Okay, back to checking. What did we do? The changes. What did we manage to change? Oh, people are smoking more, people with higher earnings got rid of some, t some stuff reduced, tourism went down, but pff, Germany doesn't have much of a tourism anyway. Alcohol consumption went up, poor earnings improved, poverty got reduced, technology is better, unemployment got lower, racial tension is better. All in all, we made more good than bad. That should let us sleep okay at night. Now, I do want to try and help the small business grants. However, ah, hybrid cars, that's a very good thing to have in your country. Wow, carbon tax. Oof, if something goes wrong, I'm so gonna implement this one. Look at the cash we can make. I can implement it on the next turn. We're finishing here and on the next turn we implement carbon tax. We want a clean environment. That's what we're gonna do. So, unemployment goes down, crime goes down. Budget is in good shape. We have a surplus of 62 billion. Well, damn, we're going good. And the credit, credit rate rating has been upgraded. Holy crap. So, ah, still can't do it. Oh, come on, it's only one. Oh, whatever. All right. Let's add something else. So, I 
can try passing consumer rights. Rural development grants, small business grants. Whoa! Space program. We. Oui. We can even make space program. Public services, free eye tests. People will get happy about that. Oh, there you go. There's a free eye test. So what is the situation? We get 25 per turn. Our maximum is 50. Yeah. Thing is, if you have 50 capital, and if you go over 50, you better pass a policy. Because right now, on the next turn, I'll have 55, but it won't show 55. It'll show 50 if I want to do something on the next turn. Alrighty. We still have a good surplus. What can we help? What else can we help? Winter fuel subsidy. Yep, we're gonna do this one. And I'm gonna roll it, because I do want to add that carbon tax. GDP went down. We'll check why. Health went up, poverty went down. Homelessness is over. That's very, very nice. Circle 63 billion. That's also very nice. Media backlash. Our One of our countries, most popular newspapers, has launched a major campaign criticizing our policies. <laughs> Jerks. I don't know. Whatever. However, we just removed one more red dot on the map. On our political map, that is. Obesity keeps on going down. And now I can pass that crazy CO2 tax. Come to Papa. 57 billion per quarter. So, that will have an impact on the CO2 emissions, which is very nice. The environmentalists and the energy efficiency will go up, people will get mad, air travel will go, ah, that looks good, but we'll be making 74 billion per quarter. And with, if you add to that, we'll be in a very, very good shape. What other policy I can do? Work safety law, robotic research grants. Special grants to encourage research robotics. Very long term idea will eventually bring a vast, bo vast boost in productivity. I want that. There you go. And let's roll. What did we do? GDP went up, health went up, the credit rating has been upgraded, and we have a surplus of 129 billion. Which I'm so going to invest. First things first. Taxes. I am going to reduce the income tax. Let's see how much. Up down to 30%. We are at 148. If I do it, we lose 30 billion. But the popularity with pretty much everyone will rise. Okay, we'll lower this one. What else can we lower? Sales tax. Sales tax, we can make it like 18%. Let's lower this one as well. Good. And what else can we lower? Petrol tax, no. What else can we lower? Capital gains tax. If we lower the capital gains, that will make the capitalists happy. And people with higher earnings as well. How about we stop it at 30%? Good! So far so good. And since we have only one capital credit, we should either roll forward and leave things as they are. Alright, what did we do? Oh, unemployment went up, poverty went down, uh, health went up, nuclear test ban 3D. So, oh, I am going to so, uh, United Nations push your country to sign a treaty world ban from carrying nuclear, nuclear weapons tax for research purposes. It's a good one. That's a good treaty. I like it. Yeah. Now you can see why I got myself bombed this time, last time. I was not reading what was happening at all. However, we still have that surplus. And this surplus must be reinvested. 
I want more stuff about welfare. Small business grants. I'm going to add this one. We need to make the small businesses thrive and flourish because it affects self-employed, GDP, the capitalists, the socialists will be unhappy with whatever. And the capitalist income, there will be more income for the self-employed. It's perfect. That will help big time. So as you can see, we are taxing, but we are helping. Consumer rights, tax shelters, what else? Oh, hybrid card initiative. Ah, that's a good one. Let's help the hy hybrid cars. People will be happy about it. So, and we have six more. What else can we help? Health food subsidies. Oh. That might deal with obesity. Yeah, exactly. We'll use health food. Healthy food. Perfect. What else can we do? We can't pass anything else. Good. That might just dip the obesity a tad more. People are still drinking, but pff, no, no problem about that. Let's roll again. Market meltdown. What's that? We may not have done anything wrong, but the crisis in confidence overseas has brought on global meltdown. Capitalists lost some, global economy lost some, the socialists were happy because the capitalists are unhappy. Haha, <laughs> of course. Credit rating updated, of course, since we are in a good, since we're doing well with the budget, our credit rating has updated and it's better now. Good. We we'll still have our surplus, the debt's going down. What's with the obesity now? Ooh, it's going down and down and down, so it will be over. What's with the alcohol consumption? It's going down as well. I'd say we're doing pretty well. Good, what else can we help? Uh, what's with this? Narcotics are outlawed. That's very nice. What's with the law and order? Intelligence services? Oh, we want that one. The liberals list will be happy, but will also reduce crime a lot. How is our crime situation? So, handgun laws, license required. If we raise it, will drop violent crime but the liberalists will be unhappy and I do remember that the last time it was the liberalists who the liberalists who destroyed me so let's try to keep the liberalists a bit more happy but first things first first things first uh, let me check what did we do health up education up environment down co2 emissions up Traffic congestion, tourism, oh, traffic congestion. We'll have to do something about that. Let's try to build more roads. That will reduce the major new road networks. Perfect, perfect. That will, do, that will deal with the traffic congestion. Mm, car emission limits, okay. What else was going badly? Uh, environment is whatever. We are doing well. Tourism is going a bit down because of the global economy. Foreign relations are okay. Border controls, sales tax. Eh. As I said, we're not going to have much in terms of tourism anyway. The poor earnings are going up. That will be good on productivity. <laughs> what else can can we help here? Legalize prostitution. Ah. Ah. Let the people have it. ID cards. Handgun laws. Uh, police force. Let's improve the police force. That will slightly reduce the alcohol abuse. Slightly reduce the. Okay, let's. The police force is always a good thing to have. Okay, legal aid. Not everyone can get legal aid, so we're gonna help them. Ah, it's seven, and I have five. Ah, okay, that we'll do that next time. Yeah. So there goes. You can see, 
we are taxing the people to oblivion, but we are also trying to improve the situation with the people that we get, with the pff, with the people that we get, with the taxes that we get. So health up, unemployment up, GDP is okay, freedom of information, that's a new random event, what does that say? There have been calls for a law to increase the availability of information held on database about citizens without their knowledge. This includes records held by private medical companies, insurance companies, and so on and so forth. What can we do? Reject the proposal. Nobody likes the idea of government holding information about them, but in some circumstances that needs to be done. The government isn't out to spy on everyone, but help people. Correct. It will also affect a large number of businesses who will have customer da databases who will be swamped with yet more bureaucracy. Uh, what will happen? It's essential that we have this law passed as one of the checks and balances required to reflect society. In average, law-abiding citizens should be, shouldn't be spied on by multinational corporations with computer databases. Well, <sighs> if we need to keep and conform to, to the current situation of the world, I say we should do that. However, that will make the liber liberals more happy if I interpret this correctly. Let's do it. Good. What was I? What did I want to do? Uh, what did I want to do? Community policing. Working with the community rather than attempting to control it. I like this one. This will also make the liberalists happy. Already. Jury trial. Alright to be on ordinary members. Up. Up. Alrighty, 21. Uh, police forces, yeah, maximum. Can also check this. Uh, legalized prostitution, uh, whatever. What were we doing here? Prisons. Some argue that providing minimum number of bear called cells. Oh, that will drop, get the, get the end on crime. We'll have be good with. Oh. Let's re rehabilitate those people. Alrighty, so far so good. Uh, law and order, law and order. Narcotics are still outlawed. Alrighty. Yeah. That's what happens when you have so many things on your screen. You forget what were you going to do last time. Wish I could watch back the video and say, uh, right, that was the thing. Oh, legal aid. Was that the thing I was going to do? Maybe. Ugh, whatever. And can we implement something else? We have like seven capita. Enterprise investment scheme gives tax breaks to wealthy individuals who invest their money in small startup companies. Ooh. That's kind of good. Food standards agency. That's also good. People will be happy about it. A commuting initiative that will be very, that will go very good with the people. So we're going to implement it. There you go. And how much did that other policy cost? Plastic bag tax. Hmm. That's a good tax. Good. I'm just clicking and clicking and clicking. Yeah. Ah, GDP went, went up, health went up, we still have a surplus, religious symbols in schools. This will include wearing the hijab of female Muslim students and wearing a cross with Christian students. Nah, we're going to allow it. Germany is pretty much a liberal in terms of those things. What I'm wondering is what's happening with obesity. Oh, wait, on the next, wait, on the next roll. We might have dealt with this problem as well. But the alcohol situation is getting bad. <laughs> ah, whatever. <laughs> Let the freaking people drink. I'm not going to bother with you at all. So, the capitalists are still happy, but they also get some bonuses. Whatever. The liberalists are very happy. So I'm going to keep it this way. What's with our ministers? Uh, there we 
are fairly loyal. Good. Keep it like this. Good. We still have a surplus though. Our debt is slowly going down. So what can we put this surplus into? Let's get some generous grants for education first. Uh, state health service. Excellent health provision. That will be good. Uh, I need more capital. Uh, I need one point of capital. Why? Why am I never checking this one? Why am I never checking this one? State schools. What can we help with the state schools to And laptops. That will help big time. Okay. And I'm still not checking this. <laughs> Damn, I'm an idiot. All right. So I can have have a top of 46, 23 plus 17. That'll be 40. Okay. Let's just roll the year, and I'll add those things the next time. Media backlash. Media is never happy. The media can go suck it. Obesity pro situation is at an end. So we only have the alcohol problems, which I can live with. So, what I wanted to do is to improve the situation in the state schools. I think there's, this be there's the better situation for, for state schools. Uh, what was the other thing that I wanted to improve? There's the state health service. Excellent provision. Bank. Good. Now we have only four. So let's roll. I think I'm gonna play this game for the first part for till the first elections and then we'll see what happens after the first election I might just end the video for now but let's play until your time till then so software patents software patents form of intellectual property law that allows companies to protect the algorithms and implement new technologies such as a new type of translation software system for purchasing online and so on and so forth if we allow will help our digital economy that uh, that will encourage investment in new products and technologies without the length of software patents will be opening the doors to small companies including those from overseas to step in ah, I don't want uh, companies from overseas to come here software patents are unreasonable until you realize that can be used to stifle competition and innovation But the idea is being patented through religion of discoveries, but simply a land grab by lawyers and will ensure virtual monopoly. There is nothing but big business production. Ah, we've been denting the, bus the big business most of the time, so let's help the big business a bit. Everyone, what's everyone whining about? Carbon tax and tobacco tax. We still have a good surplus. What's with the violent crime? There is no crime. Why are you whining about? Why are you whining about it? Crime, crime. Pfft. We're a crime free country. What what else do you want? Stop whining about it. Ah, that went slightly down. Uh, unemployment's going down. That went slightly down. That's not bad. So, we managed to help big time here, so science funding, if we do the science funding, what will that accomplish? Technology will go up, GDP will go up, energy efficiency will go up, I'm so gonna do this already. What would the Race Discrimination Act? Racial tension, liberals, ethnic minorities, so okay, that goes still. We managed to uh, stop with the regularized prostitution. That's not that important. The telecom initiative. That's people are happy about it. Maybe it's about time to uh, to add some more policies. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Which ones will be well? Huh. Luxury goods tax will be very well will be welcomed. Socialists will say thanks. Capitalists will say thanks. So. We'll make some money, so let's make a tax of, let's say, 70%. People will be happy about it. What else will the people be people be happy about? Fuel, 
efficiency standards. That would be, people will be happy about it. Uh, motorists, car usage, environmentalists, capitalists, will be, eh, CO2 emissions will go down. All demand. Let's just keep it here for a while, just for a while. If necessary, I can raise it later. And since we have only one point, let's finish it. How many turns? Three turns towards the next election. Ah, we'll just roll those three turns, see how we've done, and probably end the video there. So I'm sure you got a generally good idea of what this game is all about. We just tried to make our economy better. GDP went up, unemployment went down. And we can appoint to you an ambassador. Who are the candidates? Theresa Bowman is well known as a patriot who will fight to quote to get her interested represented in the UN. Hmm. That's very good. Popular figure on in the international stage with reputation for solving difficult problems to compromise and understanding. Uh, he's popular with the liberals and the socialists. She will be more popular with the patriots. Uh, can't we just say continue and check? Liberals are happy, patriots are happy. Uh, now where was the info? Then we'll support the patriots. Good. We still have a surplus. People are generally happy. That goes down. We're trying to do with the unemployment, wealthy people. Ah, of course, you should be whining. I still I reduce the taxes, and you're still whining. So, labor laws. What? Working with capitalist productivity that will reduce productivity, but will give us some bonus on the other areas decisions. We may just do it later. Ban Sunday shopping. That. Huh. Why, does, why is there no... Huh. Why is there no change? That's weird. Maybe because the implement is not... Uh, so technology grants. What would technology grants do? Improve GDP, productivity, the capitalists will be happy. Let's get them technology grants. Good, what's that? Pollution controls. Uh, that will increase the CO2 emissions. The environmentalists will get slightly unhappy, so capitalists will get happier, the GDP will get slightly up, CO2 emission will go slightly down. Let's let's lower it a bit so then. The environmentalists are happy anyway. Good, so we still have like 15. Uh, we're here very well, we're doing well here. What kind of policies can we do in, in order to make people happy? Consumer rights. Yep. We're getting down. Self-employed, the liberals will be happy. GDP will go, will go slightly down. Revert changes and automated refunds. Okay. Let's put it here. And that was it. No more capital. Scientific discovery. What did we do? Uh, <laughs> well, it's true. Okay, we made a good scientific discovery. Patriot, go. Patriots are happy. GDP went up, and unemployment went down. Now it's green. All of our bars are green. Damn, I like this one. We are. We have 44 surplus. GDP is going up. And before we try to roll for the last time, I want to see what kind of changes are we making. Health up, crime down, poverty down, technology up, environment up. Huh. Earnings down, tobacco usage up, alcohol consumption up. Well, we aren't getting going to remove that thing soon. I knew it. Uh, whatever, let people have a one sin. It's going slightly down, but not that much. Let let people have one sin. It's okay. They should be okay. They should be okay. Whatever. So surplus, our debts going down. 
That's very nice. What else can we do? How about we reduce the tax on petrol? Car usage will improve. The income of the motorists will improve. But if we have to raise it later, that will be a problem. The corporation tax. Yeah, that's okay. Income tax, people should be okay with that. Property tax, now I can reduce now that slightly now. Let's make it like 40%. This will help some people get a bit happier. Tax shelters, work safety, uh, what else can we do to make people happy? Yacht club subsidies. Good. We're doing it. There you go. Yet club subsidies. Anything else that can be helped? No. Next. We're almost at the election. What did we do? What did we do? What did we do? Go up, go up, go up, go up. Good job, good job, good job. Yep. That's good results. Breakdown. Capitalists were happy. Everyone was voting for us. So. Brain drain? What the fuck's that? Our tax system is encouraging the best and brightest entrepreneurs to leave. Causes income tax, luxury good taxes. Ah, no worries. If we do better the next time since we have a good surplus, we'll reduce the taxes. Okay. Let's just roll this. Let's just roll this and I think we'll... Ah, uh, hello, the DNA database. And I think I'll just end the video here. We did manage to do some cool things like get two of those green icons about the technological advantage, the high productivity. We did, we d oh, we're doing uh, relatively well on the alcohol abuse front. We'll try to reduce the brain drain by reducing the taxes and helping the people here. This is the next thing uh, that I'm gonna do thanks to that surplus. Probably in another video if you think that I should keep on making let's plays. Uh, I hope that was informative. I'd say it's much easier if you just pause and read and see what I, why I made some of the decisions because since I did one playthrough already I do know some of the things that those uh, policies and such mean all in all I'm trying to keep people happy I'm okay with having the capitalists and the wealthy people unhappy because if they're happy the poor people will be happy and I'd rather have the, po the poor people be happy well all in all that's democracy it's a really good game if you like the video you can freely comment it and if you say that I should keep on making the Let's Plays, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, <laughs> have fun guys, thanks for watching. I'll save the game here and let's name it Potential. And if you say that I'm doing well and you wanna see more, I'll make sure that it'll be it will be done. So goodbye for me and have a good one.